Battery companies have been making some phenomenal breakthroughs in their technology. Just recently, Hong Kong-based battery company Destin caused waves in the tech community as it unveiled its development of a new ultra-fast charging battery technology and it's something that's far beyond where any other manufacturer has gone before. What features does this battery have? How is it being manufactured? Is it going to eat up Tesla's business? Welcome to My Uverse, the space where all things tech get the spotlight. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for your dose of tech trend news, Tesla reviews, and other insights into the tech world. With all the milestones battery companies have been achieving, electric vehicles are posed to become even more mainstream. Research and development conducted by the top companies attempt to take down the key barriers to EV adoption, two of which are range and charging anxiety. To answer these concerns, Destin's new battery technology is packed with 900 kilowatts of power and will be able to charge a Destin Peach GT battery-powered car to achieve 500 kilometers of range in just over four and a half minutes. This is about as long as it would take to charge a traditional combustion engine vehicle. It also has triple the peak capacity of other electric vehicles in the market today, such as the Porsche Taken, which only achieves 270 kilowatts. Destin says that when used in the Peach GPT car, it will have a capacity to reach 78 kilowatt hours, combined with the ability to charge another 5 minutes. The Peach GT has the capability to travel up to 500 kilometers. Ultra-fast charging also answers the concern of making EV charging more accessible to densely populated communities. It also will help decrease the number of charging systems required to meet the growing need as the number of EVs continue to rise. The specific components of Destin's prototype have not yet been revealed, but the company has said that it's been achieved through breakthrough discoveries in materials and cell structures, featuring novel chemical formulations produced on a custom manufacturing line. And while the Peach Mark Zero, whose prototype testing is said to commence this year, is set to be a remarkable sports vehicle, its capabilities would pale in comparison when placed side by side with the claims Destin is making about its super fast charging power. To achieve this, Destin would need to develop some cutting edge, megawatt pushing technology at the charging station combined with outstanding battery properties. One thing to consider would be that the battery's temperature does not rise too high. Destin claims that its new battery technology allows its batteries to maintain a temperature that does not differ by more than 15 degrees Celsius from the outside environment. Third-party testing organizations have been wary of Destin's batteries and how it would be able to maintain a temperature that remains at safe levels for the driver and passengers. However, initial tests have shown that unlike other battery cells, Destin's technology does not require water cooling. The cells barely even warm up during extra fast charging, showing high thermal stability. And without the need for a battery cooling system, the battery weight is significantly less than expected. Advocates for the environment will also be happy to learn that Destin's battery cells are also long-lasting with 3,000 charging cycles maintaining 80% of initial capacity which is equivalent to 1.5 million kilometers. Long-lasting fast-charging batteries are essential for the expansion of the EV industry, but today's lithium-ion batteries fall short of what's needed. They're either too heavy, too expensive, or just take too long to charge. Just last year, a group of American scientists from Harvard designed a new lithium battery technology that can be charged and discharged at least 10,000 times while retaining more than 80% of its capacity. It is quite typical that EV batteries degrade after 1 to 2,000 cycles, so this would definitely be a big win for the environment. They published the study in the Nature Journal where they described its multi-layer design as a structure in which a less stable electrolyte is sandwiched between more stable solid electrolytes that are able to prevent any lithium dendrite growth. 
This architecture was then combined with a commercial high-energy density cathode material. Although it's still in the early stages of its development, lead scientist Sin Li went on to say that a commercial version of the battery may be available in the next few years if things go as planned. No question about it, fast charging can significantly increase the value of an electric vehicle and push for global sales to rise exponentially. If drivers did not have to change their lifestyle or driving habits to accommodate the purchase or use of an EV, it would truly make them that much more desirable. Prior to Destin, Israel-based StoreDot has also developed a new lithium-ion battery together with Chinese manufacturer Eve Energy who took on the role of making the battery on the standard line. Daimler, TDK, and Samsung have all invested in StoreDot and raised a total of $130 million, naming it a Bloomberg New Energy Finance Pioneer in 2020. StoreDot CEO Doran Smyerstoff believes that a massive adoption of electric vehicles at a rate we have not seen before is coming. He also says, quote unquote, we are doing what was considered impossible to do, to charge an electric vehicle or any lithium ion battery in minutes instead of hours. Meyerstoff explained, in order to do that, you have to work on the chemistry of the battery. And this is why we have 35 PhDs working on new materials that replace the graphite and some other components of the battery. Further to that, StoreDot is not just releasing a prototype, but rather engineering samples from a mass production line. This demonstrates the feasibility and the fact that the battery is commercially ready. In early September 2021, StoreDot announced that it produced the first ever 4680 cylindrical cell that can charge in only 10 minutes. The numbers 4680 refer to the battery size, 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters. In August, StoreDot also filed a charging time patent and opened the technology to the entire EV market. The company has since exceeded its 2021 targets ahead of schedule and remains firmly on track for the mass production of extreme fast charging batteries but has no plans of slowing down just yet. It has also immediately commenced research into next-generation XED, solid-state capabilities, and materials with the aim for mass production by 2028. The Vietnamese electric vehicle manufacturer VinFast is the lead investor and the company plans to scale up manufacturing and deploy StoreDot's extreme fast charging in future EV architectures. To support the development of future solid-state batteries and continue the company's global expansion, StoreDot CEO Meyerstoff has also revealed plans to open an R&D innovation hub in California. Quote unquote, establishing a facility in California will allow us to harness the world-class talent pool that's available there, with many people and organizations at the forefront of next-generation advancements. On the other hand, Chinese company Destin will most probably expand its market in the near future and associate itself with Chinese EV manufacturers to produce fast-charging EVs. With the possibility of designing smaller packs for vehicles, EVs can become not just lighter but also more affordable. It's completed all safety testing requirements and has UN 38.3 certification, making it an appropriate technology for automobile-grade battery solutions. More than that, the battery cell technology that Destin uses is mostly derived from renewable energy sources, which will result in a much lower carbon footprint. They last much longer than regular car batteries do, and once they reach the end of their usable life in an EV, they can then be employed in energy storage systems for a variety of purposes, extending their useful life. On the other hand, Tesla's next-generation battery cell is moving closer and closer to production. Suppliers are working double-time on the manufacturing process. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner, has revealed its version of the Tesla 4680 battery cell. 
The larger battery cell did pose several problems, which they've already addressed, and the deployment of a prototype production line is the next step. Tesla's new 4680 has five times the capacity of its currently used 2170 cells. So if this new battery is eventually mass produced, then Tesla batteries will have a much larger capacity and provide longer range as well as be able to charge much faster than before. Even more exciting is the possibility that Tesla will be able to put the new 4680 cells into an installation for its electric models in China specifically its rumored $25,000 Tesla Mini EV. The car is expected to be revealed soon and should further increase Tesla's shares in the flourishing EV industry. Time will tell whether all of Destin's claims will stand true when the battery is eventually rolled out for real-world use. Whatever happens, you can also trust that Tesla will not so easily give up its position at the top despite any threat that a formidable competitor may present. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more Tesla and tech updates on this space.